welcome to the safe haven map guide hopefully you're doing well today we're going to be going through the entirety of safe haven the full guide on each of the different kind of classes of the tanks where they go where you can expect people to be at and also we're going to go over the actual flow of the map and how the normal battles usually progress on the map now to do the latter part of that we are going to be using strat sketch which is a free website that anyone can use to actually get tactics for different maps it's used a lot in clown wars and stuff like that so we're going to be using that website to actually show the overall kind of how the map usually is and then we'll get into the gameplay where we can actually go through each of the positions in game itself for the different tank classes so hopefully you enjoy hope you find this useful and let's begin okay so this is stratchsketch.com uh, where you can go and create completely you know designed how you want to play the map, set up tactics, set up defenses and stuff like that. Um, as you can see, we have highlighted where the heavy tanks are usually playing, where the light tanks are playing, and then where the TDs and the more sniping medium tanks and stuff like that are playing. So we've got green for heavy tanks, blue for TDs, and then we have orange for light tanks. There's not so many medium tanks uh, on this because they can be quite diverse. Like it's a very versatile uh, class. So a lot of people will go and branch off to be in say like a heavy tank spot if you're in like a 430U for example or if they want to be a sniping medium tank they'll be in like the TD spot so you know what I mean um, medium tanks can be all over the place then overall most of the time you're going to get the light tanks if they're not actively scouting like around the middle um, then they're going to be in this bush or this bush usually because there's not so many bushes on this map that you can just sit in and spot um, these are the two main ones and the ones that you're most likely going to see in the game. Um, and of course, all of the spots I will show you in game a bit later on. Um, if you don't want to wait, timestamps are below, go feel free to click on all of them and just find out the spots for yourself. For the tank destroyers at the back over here, and then moving into more defensive locations, I should actually include um, in here, this little location here, because again, a lot of them will sit around there. Um, if you are losing the battle, you can then fall down from the back here and move into these bushes over here to defend the base or just to stop the push from the middle. Um, if they progress through from this tunnel, for example, the position over here is a great position to be in because you can then just get easy shots on anyone that's pushing out here or if they're pushing out towards the cap from this area. So it is really, really nice. And also coming down from the top here, again, from this position, you have shots. It's really, really useful. So from this position here, you will have shots here and here without really any issues. Um, so both of those you can use to defend the cap. And if you need to, you can always just go down behind here and then all the way into here because this is actually quite uh, low down. It's below the ridge line, So you can actually then reset the cap from around here. So it, there's plenty of places to reset this cap. Um, not so many to reset this cap, but we move into that a little bit later on. Now for the heavy tanks, yes, the main area is going to be in the dock. Um, it doesn't really get played too much at the top around here unless you want to try and flank around. So most of the time you're pretty safe from this area unless you see someone that you know is going to be pushing through and you will see them pushing through here. This area here is really, really powerful to counter this area and vice versa. You should be able to do a little bit of damage on anyone that is over here, as long as they're not like in some hole down God tank. Again, the positions will be shown in game. The tunnels are actually really, really useful. One, you don't get RT'd at all. Um, and two, if you are in a fast heavy tank, you can actually get all the way into the tunnel and here, before they usually even peak this corner if you're in something that is very fast again this could sometimes be countered if they have a very very fast tank and they get into the position and then they shoot you but most of the time if you're in something like a 260 you may even be able to get all the way to here without them even noticing the reason why i say that it's only from this side is because this has a lot of turns and you have to go up a ramp like this or around like this depending on where you spawn um, if you spawn over like in this location here then that's actually the worst one because you have to go all the way around and then by the time that you get to here they've already gone and you know they're in position so we talk about that more in the heavy tanks uh section but overall these are the location these are the hot spots of the map that you need to be aware of so how does this map usually end up going? Well, 
it's mainly based around these two parts here. You have the obviously the heavy tank area and this area down here. The rest of the map isn't really going to dictate the battle too much. Once someone wins the south side of the map, they are obviously going to be flanking around either through there or they will want to go around like that, depending on which side they spawned at. The main things that you need to be worried about if you are in a heavy tank when this happens is if you are sitting here and you haven't killed people that are over here, then you're going to get crossfired quite a bit. But if you haven't won this and you haven't won this, then you're probably going to lose the game. Um, so if you notice that you are losing this area here and you are over here, probably best to back off. Um, it's best to back off and maybe go to the back over here. Um, if we can just highlight it there, around there or even around here. Um, either really works to try and back off and get away from anywhere around here. Uh, because even from back here, you still have quite a few spots that you can actually hide behind and reset the cap or even move all the way up into this kind of courtyard area here. However, if you lose the heavy side and you are over in the south, then it's not really too bad almost because you could still win the game. Um, the thing is that once you win the heavy side, you have very little things that you can actually do without just straight up dying. As long as you have your light tank still alive, or at least someone that can spot, trying to take this cap circle is actually a nightmare. The reason being is that as soon as you push through here, here, or even go around and then through here, you will get spotted by people that are either just still around here and you're fighting them, or if you're up here, you can still spot this. If we go to the view range, you can see that 445 meters will go all the way up to around about here. So you are in quite a bit of trouble if you want to try and take this cap. However, once you get to the cap, you actually have quite a bit of uh, cover because anyone that is actually situated over in this area here won't realistically be able to hit you. If they are a little bit further around, then yes, anyone sitting over here, say that it's a, it's a medium tank, anyone that's sitting over there will have shots on you from this angle. Because the cap over here is not very well covered, the exact same thing goes for this cap. It's not very well covered. And even if this side wins this bit here, again, there's lots of buildings in the way, it's quite well covered. So it's quite hard to actually cap out on this map. Um, if you have people that are still alive in the south, because all that you realistically have to do is just move down and then they clear them out. Obviously, if the if it's overwhelming numbers, you're going to lose anyway. Now, if you are trying to decap this base, though, then you can just take this route right here um, and go all the way around the back to try and decap through here. This is all pretty good cover. Um, as I found later on in the video, um, but you can decap pretty easily from there and even try and stop people pushing the south um, and coming down into your base if you are defending, say, you know, over here. So it's quite a good position for that. But overall, like this map is just, I don't know, it seems a lot of it depends on kind of the south being one. And if the south is one, then usually you're okay to try and then do stuff. Because um, all the heavy tanks realistically have to do is just hold out until such point and just farm. Like they just farm damage um, and, you know, battle against each other. And then once that's happened, you can then progress on with the game. It's kind of important that if you're in a light tank to try and do your best, even though there isn't a lot of bushes and it's not really a very good map for a light tank. And I even said in the video, it's probably worth banning this map if you're a light tank player, because it's just not really that good. Yeah, overall, if you're in the south, it's kind of important to win or at least hold it as long as you possibly can. Overall, though, this side of the map, the actual uh, western side of the map, has a lot more advantages than the eastern side. Um, they have a few more bushes that you can actually spot from, um, not to mention that I would probably say overall the better position for heavy tanks is on the western side rather than the east. And you probably get the better TD spot as well being at the back around here. Because over here you do get a few bushes that you can sit in and it's a little bit larger uh, going outwards so you can get maybe two or three tanks in there. Whereas over in this area, 
it's uh yeah it's a little bit open and you have to go up a massive hill if you want to get shots on people and you don't want to be at the back here so yeah it can be a little bit awkward anyway we've talked about that you know how roughly the map is let's go and get into some spots in game so starting off with the light tanks from the west spawn there isn't really too many spots to go in light tanks as i said before um the main problem is that there's not really too many bushes there are a few but they're really obvious if you are fast enough then you could get to this bush over here before the enemy actually even like progress forwards um, and if you can try and get into this one because you will spot quite a few tanks if they go across like like this like the wrong way um, because realistically everyone should be going you know around like this way to try and stay uh, safe and in cover from this um, but anyone that goes across like this or even just tries to get up into the middle early on you'll be able to spot or you at least you should be able to spot them um, as soon as they come out of this area here you'll spot them no problem the other bush is going to be the more standard position which you will get blind fired by um it's it's worth going to i guess but just know that everyone's going to know that you're here basically and you will get blind fired this bush is pretty obvious because there's realistically nowhere else that you can be um yeah i mean the best bet is to go close and then you can you know run away as soon as you do spot some people um and kind of play like that because obviously you're a light tank you get the same camera on the move as you do stationary you can use that to your advantage so in an ebr it's a little bit more difficult because you can't really maneuver as freely in kind of low speed um because of your wheels but you can go backwards and forwards and try and just keep keep the enemy well show as little as your tank as possible even if you don't sit in this bush you can still play around and just try and be an active scout um, you could even go down into like the little canyon area over here or the dip um, and try and spot people that way you can be super annoying especially if you're in an ebr um, and try and spot the opposite side which is where most of the enemies are going to be sitting if they're in a light tank um, anywhere around like this you're actually pretty safe from the left hand side and left unless they are down there in the tunnels um, but early on in the game that's pretty unheard of um, because from here if we just ping the map you'll see it's 28 meters away you can go all the way da back down to around about here and you'll still be proxy spot in that bush so for the opposite side for the east side of the map yes pretty much exactly the same you do not get the bush though um so it's not really worth it to go anywhere down here um, there are a few bushes that you can go to later on in the game as it progresses um to try and you know get some spots if you can make it to this bush here this is actually not too bad um especially if you're kind of you're small enough to go all the way in this bush like this you could sit here quite happily and later on in the game i mean this is not going to proxy you um, and anyone on the on top of the the rocks and stuff like that 100 meters away not going to proxy you so if you're in something that does have a lot of camo um, like the EBR or pretty much any light tank as long as you're in a bush and you have a camo crew and got camo on your tank you're basically only going to get spotted if you're in spotting range or detection range like within the proximity that's the one finally got it out but yeah later on in the game if you can progress and there are people uh, that you know are going to be around here or around here especially people like to sit around here um, around the tunnels so if you can and you know that this is all clear or your team's cleared it out and they've started to push on then maybe this is a good spot to go in the exact same thing can be said for the opposite side um, you could go into you know one of these bushes over here to try and get some spots um, but also once you progress again you could go and sit in the bush which is right here although to be able to get here is a little bit dodgy because yeah you're gonna have to be in the open quite a bit and not get spotted before you get here and if there's people here they're probably gonna detect you before you can get here so it's kind of a shame because this map it's not really the best of best of maps in design wise um, and obviously I showed you the bush on the other side where you can go but this map for light tanks is not great it really isn't i'd probably recommend you just block this map or ban it 
if you're going to be playing light tanks for an extensive period of time. Because even maps like Glacier are better for light tanks than this. Um, so, and you know how much I hate Glacier. But if I was going to play light tanks exclusively for a few hours, um, then I'd probably block, uh, unblock Glacier and then block this because it is not good. I mean, it's definitely better than, say, Himmelsdorf, like, for light tanks wise. But there's just nowhere that you can sit. Like, there, there's so little bushes. So, yeah, that is light tanks for safe haven. Not really too much you can do. And as the battle progresses, it's down to you to kind of use your gun, honestly, or just be an active scout. So, for the medium tanks. Now, obviously, the medium tanks are the most versatile tank in the game, so you can kind of go anywhere. Yes, probably the best place to be for sniping mediums is going to be in the TD location, um, which is going to be around about here. Or you could just play a little bit more aggressive, like with the Leo. Um, you can play a little bit more further up than what you would already. Um, but if you are just in like a paper, t uh, paper TD, paper medium tank, then probably playing around about the medium to long range is going to be what you want to do. Um, at least if your gun will allow it. Um, so you can play around about this bunker. Um, because from here, you can actually get pretty decent shots. Um, even though that the spotting position where most people are going to be, like for light tanks, is right there. You can actually just dip back right here. And then just snipe anyone that overpeaks this. A lot of people, for some reason, and I don't really know why, but they will peak all the way on top of the ridge line. They'll just put themselves all the way over on here. So you have three shots here and you will not get spotted in return unless someone is further forwards because this bunker is actually blocking the view of the enemy light tank if they're in that bush. Um, obviously, if they're being ultra aggressive and they push all the way through, then you're going to get detected. But you're pretty safe from the middle as well um, because realistically, no one's going to go up the top. And if they do they're going to die pretty quickly. And it's definitely not going to be this side. So you're pretty safe there as well. Um, for more aggressive plays, then of course you can go up and, you know, if you are, if you have like a 430U, then probably, you know, down with the heavies. But I don't know. Like, this map's so weird. If you have some turret armor, then you could go here and just try and play around like this location because a few people do sit there. Um, and you could also try and blind fire the light tank there. But you kind of open yourself up to the middle as well. So it's not really too worth it. Um, but there are options there for you. Um, I won't go up to the top there. I'll do that in the tank destroyer section. Um, but you could also just play around here. Like you have this bush to conceal you. So you could just poke up. You literally just take a shot, pull back around. And then you just do exactly the same thing because you're only exposing yourself to a select uh, few people over here and you may even spot them. You may get lucky and then you get the spotting, um, especially if they are pushed up on top of this for whatever reason. Like, I really don't know why people do that, but they do. Um, you'll be able to get some uh, easy shots on them. Um, but yeah, that's basically it without going over to kind of the heavy tank side um, of the map and... Realistically, I want to include this side in the heavy tanks because it is more of the brawling kind of area. But you could do this in a medium tank over this side as well. And it goes for both uh, spawns. Now, for the other side, you know I said that people like to sit around here. I don't know why, but people do. Do not sit here. I'm telling you right now, it is not worth sitting here. Because what happens when you get spotted is that you can no longer peek this side. So you can't pick this left hand side and you can't pick this right hand side because there's probably going to be someone down there just waiting for you to peek. So you're then just completely stuck. If, if you try to push back, you're probably going to get shot by anyone that's sitting at the back of the map. So it's not worth to sit around this house. Um, you could sit around back here, but then you're a little bit too far away from the rest of the action. So again, that's not really worth it. Um, you definitely have less options on this side then you do the opposite side. Um, 
the best that you can do is probably knock down a few of these trees and just hope that you don't get spotted. Um, obviously trees act as cover, so you could go over here and then just wait for anyone to get detected at the back of the map where the TDs are. You're also then safe from the bush over there because there's actually a tree there, so that's blocking some of the vision. Um, so you could just sit here and wait because people usually will sit in this bush if they're at the you know TD at the back of the map. Um, and honestly, there's no reason why they wouldn't sit there because it's pretty much the best option. Um, yeah. Like, this map is really quite one-dimensional. Like, there's only really one or two places that you can go in any specific class. Um, it is quite a boring map. Um, and also, you could play here. You get some spotting. Um, what I'd suggest you do is go as close as you can to this uh, rock here and then spot through it because that way then you're not getting spotted by this bush here when you peek. Um, so you can try and spot anyone that's pushing down uh, through the middle, for example, through here. And then you can then pull back, take a shot and vice versa also for the back of the map. Um, you won't be able to spot this from here, but if the back of the map does get spotted, then you can shoot through this and you will not get spotted in return unless there's someone like being able to somehow spot you through there or whatever. And this goes for tank destroyers as well for this corner of the map. I genuinely, I don't think this is a like the worst map that they've ever introduced. Like it's definitely not as bad as airfield, but it's definitely not a good map. So for the heavy tanks, uh, this is where you want to be. There's no point sending your heavy tank out over this side. Just don't do it. Um, there are a few spots that you can go again. This is kind of echoing the uh, medium tanks as well. Um, you can go around this location here if you are tall enough. Um, because, yeah, uh, if you're not tall enough, it's a little bit awkward. And you could just get your capola sniped. Because, uh, yeah. If you're in something that can side scrape, and I mean like a 705A, or uh, I've seen ISM do it, um, anything like that you can actually use this location here super effectively, like stupidly well. Um, and you can also use this corner very effectively as well. So if you're just side scraping around here, because people will probably be around about uh, this area here, just behind this uh, little shed thing. Uh, if you watched my uh, how many credits can I make in an hour video, I played the I played this map. And I played around here, and people were side scraping around here. It happens in the game. It's a place that you can get a lot of damage from, and as the battle progresses through, you need to be careful because if they flank through this way, and you don't have anyone to defend it, you could be in a lot of trouble if you are here. But if you are over this way, then not really too much of an issue because there's a lot of cargo containers in between you and the enemy if they're over that way. But you do need people to be able to uh, shoot at. So it kind of does rely that people are choosing to go through the middle or try to side scrape and, you know, play around this kind of diagonal uh, shooting range, let's say. Um, and also you could go uh, in the middle here. People will come out of the tunnels through here to try and get shots on you. Again, it's a nice little hold down spot that you can defend from, so you can defend this corner pretty well. The next spot is going to be in the tunnels. I would not suggest you go straight into the tunnels unless you are in something very, very fast, like the 260 could do it. Um, but anything else and you have the ability to side scrape, it's probably your best bet to just sit here and just farm people. Like if you get here fast enough, people still, I don't know why, and if you're one of these people, do not cross over through here. Like, just, just don't. It just will not work. Wait until you know what is down this end, this end, and then you can cross once you know it's safe. Because if you cross early on, and you have nothing's been spotted down here right at the start of the game, you're probably going to take at least one, probably a little bit more than one shell, and that can really ruin your game. Um, it's usually a free shot straight away. So if you get here fast enough and just wait, someone always comes across. Usually it's someone that is in a uh, kind of faster uh, heavy tank. 
um, like a heavium kind of thing like i've seen progetto uh, 54s i mean they're no they're not like speed demons but they've uh, decided to kind of just come across here so if you get here fast enough you can definitely reap the rewards and just farm someone that is just crossing um and also people that will just try and side scrape um if you are fast enough then you could get into uh i wouldn't say a better situation but you can go very aggressive in this and what i would suggest you do is not go too deep because it's not really going to work out too well um if you're in something like like the 260 um, you could go to this location here and then you see how you just kind of hold down the problem is that yes this does work sometimes they can still see your lower plate and albeit yes it is very very well angled it's not really worth it. So go back a little bit and just play from here. Pike. You'll be able to play from this corner and hold this corner very, very well if you can get here fast enough. You could do it in a 260. And if you and if the time comes when you can no longer have enemies to shoot in this corner, you can just go through the middle and try and farm some people over there. Or you could just go and farm people in the, uh, the other side of the map. It's up to you. Or push. Whatever. Um, there's plenty of options uh, for playing very, very fast heavy tanks in this game. Uh, or in this map, I should say. So, yeah. Keep that in mind. Now, another location that you can go to is over the left-hand side of the map. Um, it's not super good. Um, and it's definitely, in my opinion, not as good as the other you know two spots that I've already shown you but you could get here early enough and then you could do a l quite a lot of damage um, the, but the only problem is that yes you could side scrape on this corner and you're then kind of relying on people pushing out this way which sometimes they do but that is you're, you're relying on the enemy making mistakes whereas if you go to tunnels they always go there. Like, I've never played a game where people haven't gone to the tunnels. Um, and the other spawn, or the other spot that I showed you over here, I've never seen someone not go, kind of, try and go this way. Or push the middle, for example, and try and play around there. And that spot, you can farm people from. Um, so, this, yes, also, you could go and farm people that are in the middle here. But you are overexposing yourself a lot. Like, you're basically dead. Um, so it is not really worth it. Um, the only other thing that you can do is go completely around. But you need to be careful for when you come to about this point. If you're in something fast enough, you don't really need to worry about this. Because you'll probably be there before them. Um, but you can use all of this as cover when you do get around the corner. Um, so just be aware, this corner is exactly the same it's mirrored so keep that in mind by the time that you get to here if you're in something very very fast and usually they'll get spotted when they push this so you should know if they're coming um, but just be careful on that corner you can use the bit the bridge uh, to cross straight away as well but i wouldn't recommend it i would recommend you just sit here and wait for a little bit and see what is going on over there and then progress through because once you understand who is here you can then get a better idea of when to move across so they're the main locations for heavy tanks on this side of the map again medium tanks 430u stuff like that um, can also use them and also assault tank destroyers obviously um, as well so keep that in mind let's move over to the east side okay so for the east side of this map it is going to be pretty similar um, you've already seen, if you watched my video, that you can play around here. Um, this is one of the better spots. Um, obviously, I showed you the counter to it, which is over the other side. But usually from here, you can actually get quite a few shots early on. Um, because for whatever reason, people like to, instead of going around the safer way of playing this map to get to the tunnels, um, where you just go you know, around like this and then straight there, they like to go... All the way through here, through the middle, and then across. I don't know why, but people do it. And then from here, you can have easy shots on anyone that's crossing. It's free damage. Usually you can get at least 
two shells or two shots off of damage um, before like that kind of that's everyone. So it's really, really good, easy damage to the start of the game. And of course, you can then progress on and around like I did show you. The exact same thing is for the opposite side. If you see someone that is spotted over around here, be careful because if they've not been spotted after a while, they might be trying to push this. So be careful if you're pushing around there. Now, one quick thing that I will say on this side of the map, if the enemy pushes all the way through and they get through to this tunnel, do not go and try and side scrape around this corner or anything like that. Go back immediately. If you see that they are all pushing, fall back behind these containers. These containers will save you. Um, because you are hole down here, for the most part, um, depending on how tall you are and your hole and lower plate and whatnot. But you can actually shoot over this. Um, this is completely solid and so is this wall. So anything that you see, their turrets should be showing. Um, and if you have a few enemies that's, well, a few enemies, a few friendlies that are still around here and they face their turrets that way, you can have a nice little crossfire on them. So it's really, really nice. This is a very good defensive spot and you can just back around the corner when you're reloading. They can't do anything to you. So it's nice to have. Um, there are, if you are like a super tall tank, um, then you can go around here um, and then, you know, shoot people like around here or, you know, from here. Uh, you can also go all the way here and actually get some shots across. Um, I don't believe this is destructible, so keep that in mind. Um, if it is, then great. I mean, I should have really loaded ammo, shouldn't I? But that's besides the point. If you can get some shots off through here, then that is very, very good. Um, so, yeah, very good defensive location around here. So, the place that lots of people like to just get shot at. People will come around here, not know any anything any the wiser. And just go straight across like this. They take one, two, and then they're, what, minus 800 health, something like that. If it's a tier 10 game, you know, under, around about 400 alpha. It's just not worth it. Um, you can use this wall as your side scraping tool. Um, so just come around like this and just, you know, try and side scrape. Or if you're fast enough, although the problem is that even if you're fast enough to actually get to this location, you will be slower than the enemy getting to that location. Because of the way that it is, and there's so many like twists and turns to get to this this side, it's not worth to try and push this. And even if you do, where are you meant to go? <laughs> it's not like you can go like here and then shoot that. You have zero hold down locations here. The only thing that you can do is to go hold down on the slope. And that isn't going to work, um, realistically, as I've already shown. It's just not really worth it. Um, especially considering that you're probably just going to get pushed eventually anyway. Yeah, do not do this. Do not push. If you're going to play around this side, just try and side scrape. And if you really want to, then you can wait and then try and get across to the other side to side scrape on that corner. Um, so it's down to you. And uh, yeah. Good luck, because honestly, I think that this side of the map is actually quite a bit better than this side of the map. And finally, for the tank destroyers. Uh, obviously, you can go to the back over here, which I'll just show you right now. And in this location, there are a few different spots that you can actually go to. Um, obviously, this goes for uh, kind of sniping medium tanks as well. Um, hopefully, that goes without saying, but... There are a few spots around here that you can go to in your TDs or sniping mediums. The first one is around here. However, you need to be a little bit careful because if you go a little bit too far out, you might get spotted by anyone that's you know actively scouting or anything like that. Um, so just be careful. But from here, you will be able to get clean shots on people that are over here and they can't really spot you. Um, yeah, it's actually quite a nice spot to uh, shoot down from. Um, also, if anyone does go on top of the middle, You'll notice that I've said nothing about going on top of the middle because there is zero reason why you should go on top on the roof um, at the start of the game. Just zero. It's one of those things where you progress into it if you feel like you need to do it. Whereas you could go to the roof and then try and get shots on people that are over here for if you were heavy down in the, in the kind of dock area. Um, it's pointless going to the roof at the start of the game. It's just not worth it. 
one, you're not going to spot anything there, and two, you're probably not going to shoot anything there, and you're just going to get shot yourself. And then you can, of course, go around here, but once again, be careful, because as you can see, this will spot you. That is well within the range of detection, especially if you do fire. Um, but the bushes over here are quite nice. Um, obviously, just be careful, because... It's exactly the same thing as when I was over there showing you the spot in the in the Leo 1, um, which is where you would go in your TDs for the opposite side of the map around here. But I've already shown you that. I'm not going to show you it again. It's tough. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's, it's one of those things where if you are a sniping medium tank, it's not really very fun. There's not really too many sp like spots and spaces that you can go to to get shots off. Um, and not, you know, when you're playing in the support tank like that, you need to be careful, obviously, and try and remain in cover as much as you can. And this is probably the best spot to be in, um, just around here. There's going to be other people around, and you just hope for the best, honestly. <laughs> you won't get spotted if you're behind these bushes, but you, pre you will probably get blindfired quite a bit. Now, later on in the game, if you feel that you're going to be losing down here, you can go into this location down here, and there are a stupid amount of bushes here. Like, that is a lot. Very, very bushy. Um, so you can go into here, and then you'll get shots on anyone that is pushing through here. You'll also be able to spot them if you do have enough um, view range, obviously, on your tank. So this is quite a nice location to be in. Um, you can spot, then you go back through the bush and then shoot down, you know, the bottom there. Just be aware, you're going to need quite a bit of gun depression over to shoot in the middle if they come through uh, under the tunnels or through the tunnels, I should say. So just be careful, but this is a good defensive position. And the final location for the west side of the map is at the back here. Do not go to this location at the start of the game. It is not worth it. You might as well go and you know, sit around the back over here or over here and just try and get some shots that way on the enemies because you can see nothing from here. You are so out of the game at this point that you are just, you're not even helping your team out in any way. So do not start the game at the back here. Yes, there's a lot of bushes. Yes, this is probably a very broken position in the, in the map. You can just spot, go back through the bush, fire and you will never get spotted and they have to travel so far to be able to shoot you it's actually unreal um you if you notice that your team is just completely getting annihilated then you can go at the back here but that's only if you were kind of already starting around about here so obviously it depends on what type of tank you are if you are in something fast enough like if you started in a leo one for example and you went around here you could then go back and around to here to kind of be the defensive kind of last stand or so. Um, it just depends on how the game progresses. I'm only showing you this because it is a good defensive location if they are pushing through. It is not something that you go to at the start of the game. Hmm. Alpen's having fun. And from the east side of the map, there is a extremely dirty spot that you can sit in. I do not endorse this spot at all. I think that this is probably one of the most toxic positions that you can possibly get into. And it's right here. All you have to do is go forwards just enough, as you can see down here. And you will be able to spot, well not spot, but you can see the person that is side-scraping on this corner or on this corner and they cannot shoot back at you. I, I have uh, no idea why this spot exists, and even in something that is kind of low profile like this, you can still see over enough to be able to shoot them. You can see here are the containers that people are going to be taller than, so you could even snipe Capolas if you really wanted to. Yeah. Um, I don't really know what to say about this position. And then at the end of it, if they are pushing all the way through, all you have to do is come back a little bit and you can snipe from the bushes over here. I don't really know what they were thinking when they'd done this, 
Like, if, if the person's on this corner, you might as well just go to these bushes. I mean, you could even blind fire this. Um, because chances are you're probably going to hit them. Um, it's not too much of a hard shot to try and guess whereabouts they are just by looking at the mini map. Um, so, yeah, this is pretty stupid, to be honest. Um, it's exactly the same as this location, but far, far worse because you can actually be an, a, an assistance to your team from this location. The fact that it even has hard cover here, I don't know why they've got this in the game. They, they should have really just blocked it off and just made it so it's like this and like this and then it's just water over here. You don't need the rest of that and you definitely don't need all of this. Like, I don't know. It doesn't really make sense to me. Um, but there you go. I would also like to point out another fantastic feature of this map. Why is this here? I mean, it's a very good defensive location because you can sit behind this bush and then go and just snipe anyone that's crossing over the bridge. Right. And then if you need to, just run away all the way to the back. I, don't, I, I really don't understand some of the like map design in this map. It, it just doesn't make sense. And making these map guides, you just learn about new positions that you're just completely stupid. Like, why does that exist? Why does this exist? Like, I... My brain. Another very nice defensive location is actually this one here. One, you can actually spot people here and then pull back through the bush. Um, but two, you could just sit all the way back. Like, all the way back here. And then just farm people as they try and get into your cap. You, you're not really going to be able to decap effectively because there is... You know this in the way like a massive building that can hide probably the entire enemy team behind it but you know I mean if they're stupid and they go out either side then you can actually farm them again this is another nice spot that you can just peek from it's still kind of you know around the same spot so but you can peek this if you know that there are going to be around here obviously if they've already pushed and they're already here like this is going to be a bit of an issue because you're going to get detected, especially if they're up the top here. So if you want to, you know, push around here, like I showed you in the in the Leo, um, then you can do. You can play around there and then, you know, shoot people around here. Or you could go around here and then shoot people in the middle. There's plenty of options that you can choose. Not really. But there's, <laughs> there's a few things that you can do on this map if you're a TD. Um, and you are kind of that stealth TD role. Um... This is a brawling map. It is a brawling map. There's nothing that you can really say to kind of go against that. If you want to play this map, you need something that has armor and you need to realistically go into around here or just be in a location where you can go and farm people around here because most of the damage is going to be in the dock area. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. Hopefully you found this useful in some way. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think about Safe Haven in the comments down below. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you click subscribe and leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. Uh, if not, feel free to dislike it. Uh, I know not everyone can see it unless you have like extension or whatever. But yeah, feel free. And uh, hopefully I'll see you all in the next one.